What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is James. Today we're at Fort Bragg Park. So if you see any cannons or anything weird going on in the background military wise, um, that's where I'm at. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about why your motorcycle brakes might lock up or why your motorcycle uh, rotors or brake pads are dragging on your motorcycle. And there's really next to nothing on this uh, subject on YouTube and I'm gonna kinda go through all the little details and uh, get you riding again and just keep that frustration away because I know as soon as you're like on your bike and you know it locks up that freaks people out and safety reasons you want to definitely make sure that you know everything's gonna be working properly so let's get into it all right so we're coming up on the motorcycle and the number one reason why your brakes are going to be locking up is because you have dirty brake fluid, okay? If this thing's looking like it's like chocolate milk, or if you can't see to the bottom, or if it has like a really dark orange tint to it, you got to replace that. Because what happens is air builds up on the inside and uh, pressure builds up, especially on a hot day. Um, you might have intermittent locking of your brakes um, when it's like, you know, 85, 90, or 100 degrees, um, what happens is uh, water builds up on the inside and it just presses the brakes together so it doesn't allow them to actually retract, all right? So definitely wanna change that brake fluid. All right, that's kind of like an obvious reason. Second non-obvious reason is you might have a aftermarket brake lever um, like this one from uh, eBay. Uh, you're gonna pay like 20 bucks and it might fit you know on there perfectly and it might look great it might move everything seems to work properly for the first day two three maybe even a week who knows you know if it's cool out it might even last a month but um if it's a hot day out um what will happen is uh see this little tang right here uh if this tang isn't machined properly uh if it's too long like this one is it'll actually um push into the piston because there's like a little piston that goes in on on the side here and uh, if that piston doesn't um, release, um, it'll actually build up pressure and it'll just keep going and going. If you look on the very inside of, uh, of this uh, master cylinder here, uh, you got two holes there, okay? You have a big hole and then you got a small hole. I don't know how good you can see that, but uh, the small hole is for the release right there. That's a small hole that should be for the release. Uh, valve and then uh, the big hole is for actually like when you're pumping the brakes it pushes uh, liquid down your brake fluid down all the way to your brake calibers and that that's what applies your brake pressure but the little the little hole right there um, if the piston doesn't go back far enough it won't ever um, release it so you got to make sure that the piston can go far enough to where it's releasing it because if it doesn't release it uh, it'll just keep building pressure, building pressure, building pressure, and it'll just lock up on you, okay? Now, if something happens where if you're on the freeway, you want to make sure that uh, you know what you're doing because you're not going to be able to move the bike if the bike is locked up, you know, whether it's your rear or your uh, front brake. Uh, what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is, is come down here and you see this, uh, this nipple uh, right here. This nipple right here, you want to unlock that and that'll let the pressure out. And usually that'll be enough so you can get home as long as you don't live too far away um, you might have to release the pressure say i don't know like every like couple miles or so or something like that but uh, it should be able to get you home and it'll it'll free up the tire so it's not completely locked out okay um, another thing you could do is you could uh, open this up just for a quick second and then uh, tighten it back up uh, you'll still have brake pressure as long as you don't take the whole bolt out so just crack it, release the pressure, and then put it back on. That should be able to get you at least off the side of the road, okay? All right, so say you change the fluid out, that's all clear, and uh, your brake lever uh, is, you know, the OEM, everything's working properly on that. Um, then uh, what you can do is uh, you might have to change out your brake line. Now this is a steel braided brake line, um, it's good for like off-road and stuff like that uh, say if like you're hitting rocks and stuff like that it's just a little bit more durable and it tends to last a little bit longer than your traditional regular lines that are like this more of like a rubber base these tend to crack over time things like that so so if you do have an old line you might have to replace that 
okay now after um, after you replace that we're gonna go into the calibers all right and uh, what happens with the calibers is we'll go to another video over here all right so now with the calibers here this is one that's taken off you have these pistons on here okay what happens is dirt tends to build up right in between here all right now on the inside you have a let's see if I can get some light in here you have a gasket I don't know if you could see that gasket right in there it's like a little black gasket um, but anyways what happens is uh, dirt gets caught in between there and uh, you, the piston doesn't want to push back in to the housing. So just dirt, grime, crap builds up. And uh, even if you had like the old brake fluid in there, that might have contaminants. So you might need to replace, you know, uh, the brake calibers or you need to rebuild them. Usually in the rebuild kit, they'll give you like little gaskets and uh, little rubber pieces on the side. Now when you're rebuilding these, you want to make sure that uh, when you put your grease on uh, this little uh, stem right here, you don't want to put the grease on the, on the very outer edge. You want to make sure that you only put it on the side, because if you put it in the outer edge, what happens is it goes into this boot, and then uh, when, when you're trying to let off the brake, it'll get stuck in there, it'll create a vacuum. So you never want to put any grease on the very end, and only a light greasing on the side. Okay, same thing with the inside. You only wanna put a real light greasing around where the gaskets and stuff are. Um, you don't wanna pack a bunch in there because it might get stuck in you know, the hole where the brake fluid comes out or something might go goofy. So just, just a little bit, all right? Um, and you wanna make sure that whenever you get your new brake pots, if uh, you replace these little pots, um, that they're smooth. There's no scratches or anything weird going on on the outside of those, all right? So that's for your brake calibers. Um, you can usually get these on eBay for pretty cheap as well. Unless they're like Brembo brakes or something like that, or you got a Ducati, then those things are running uh, you know, into the couple hundreds of dollars, so. All right, so another issue with uh, either the brake drag or the brakes not working properly is uh, either your rotor's you know, either dirty or your rear tire is actually canted to the side, all right? and that'll cause the rotor to be canted to the side and that'll just keep on causing um, brake drag. So uh, I always tell people whenever you add aftermarket parts, whether it's a rotor, whether it's a lever, whether it's a master cylinder, uh, you might run into problems because you know eBay sellers, and they're usually from China and they don't care, they're just trying to make a dollar, they're really not good people and uh, they're just trying to out to make a buck and they don't care if it works or if it doesn't, as long as they sell the item, they're happy, and, uh, and then you get screwed in the end. So you wanna make sure that everything is OEM, that means original engine manufacturer, all right? This is gonna make sure that your parts on your motorcycle are working properly, okay? So same thing with the brake calibers, get OEM, okay? Uh, so a couple things that you know might go wrong is either, you know, on here, on your motorcycle you have uh, either like a, kind of a leveler or like um, a scale with like numbers or things like that you know uh, mine is like I think on four and you want to make sure on the other side is exactly the same that you got it on this side that's going to ensure that your tire is straight and uh, it's not canted at all okay and uh, a good way to check is kind of looking down looking down your your chain you remove the chain guide and you look down to make sure that's completely straight and motion pro actually sells like a tool that uh that looks kind of you know kind of like what i'm using right here but you know it it's it's better it's more accurate anyways uh you just kind of like line it down and make sure that the chain is going forward and it'll show you if it's like canted to the side or or whatnot you know um another reason why your brakes might act funny is say your spokes got bent in an accident you know and uh, it can't your tire off to the side uh, but usually with that motion pro tool you'll, you'll be able to see that you know um, on your train if it's like guided wrong you know um, so that's another reason there as well okay another small reason 
um, that your brakes might be acting up is you fill this reservoir too high, okay? If you fill it too high, it's not gonna have any uh, area for the liquid to come back up as well. So don't overfill these reservoirs, all right? You usually have like a little line on the inside that you can fill it up to. So make sure you don't, you know, go over that as well. All right, well, that's about it for me, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something today. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comment box below. And uh, more than likely, I'll be able to help you out. I'm a motorcycle mechanic and uh, I work on these things all the time. So there might be like little details that I know that you might not know. And uh, even in the forums, make sure that you guys are commenting down you know, below like, oh, you might have a KTM and like this brake system might have something unusual about it. That's gonna help someone else out. So let's keep on building this community and keep it growing and uh, try to keep uh, everything uh, in a, a good fashion, you know, try not to get too crazy with, uh, you know, the comments. I know they can get pretty wild and people start arguing about this, like my bike's better, your bike's better, you know, blah, 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 you know. Um, so let's just keep it kind of clean and, uh, you know, just beneficial for everybody. All right, so uh, I'll see you on the next video. Y'all take care, guys. Peace.